everyone. This is Mark Semedini from Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and I'm here with Dave Loper from Clear Center. We're going to talk a little bit about the pre installation of Clear OS on HPE ProLiant servers. In this particular session, we're going to cover headless support, the language, and also the try, keep, and remove options. So, Dave? Thanks. So, yeah, if your uh, HPE server came uh, pre installed with Clear OS on it, you'll have some uh, menus after the BIOS related to the operating system and how it works. But uh, these menus have countdown timers on them because what we want is we want the operating system to start automatically. Um, the fastest way to get up and going is to actually just turn your server on. You don't even need a monitor or a keyboard. You plug into the last network uh, interface and get going. But if you were to plug in a monitor and a keyboard, this is the information that you, you will see. And it's useful to go through here because there is actually a choice that you can make that will make your system boot faster. And we'll, we'll talk about that at the end. Um, but uh, the first menu that you're uh, introduced with is this language screen. And if you don't make a selection, it will have a countdown timer and it will automatically choose English. But if you do uh, want to you know, install with uh, or have you know better language support, especially in this particular menu. You can choose from uh, this this selection of different languages to choose from. There's about um, I think 80 some odd languages here mm -hmm. to choose from. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to choose uh, English, uh, for example. Um, now here under advanced options, if you if you chose the wrong language or English was chosen uh, for you by default because the countdown timer uh, exceeded, you can go back to um, choose your language here under the advanced options. And uh, it's, it's always the second option down. So if you get into a, a funky language, you know, for example, if this is your main menu and you get into the funky language, if you go to the second option and the second option, it will take you back to the language selection. Okay. So Good. say, for instance, we're in Afrikaans and, you know, here we go. We're, we're going to choose the second selection here and the second selection here and it will take us back. So that's the that's the language selection. And then here, if you notice, there's a countdown timer at the, at the start. But the default option is to try keep or remove clear OS. Now we wanted to make it so that individuals would have the option of um, removing clear OS. It became pre-installed, but maybe that's not what you want, and maybe you want to, you know, um, do something else. Uh, you can go in here and remove clear OS and wipe it. Of course, you can always just use the regular tools to do your operating system and and wipe it that way, but. We do have a way to clean it up off of your system and to reset your uh, BIOS uh, back to the factory defaults. So here, try and keep the, the try option is the default option. And what will happen is it will just go through the countdown timer and then it will launch ClearOS. The keep option, actually what it does is it boots up into an installer um, that will remove this option out of the grub menu. So um, you, that will speed up your, your uh, installation because you won't have um, this menu anymore. It will say, uh, you know, start ClearOS normally instead, and then it will go right into ClearOS. It won't come into this menu and then do the try option. So as you can see, it'll save you about eight seconds on your boot time. Mm -hmm. So another good reason to make the decision whether you want to remove or to keep ClearOS is because um, if you choose keep clear OS, then you won't have this looming option of remove clear OS sometime later. You know, somebody gets on the box and they're screwing around and they hit the wrong button. This will blow clear OS away, even if you're running it later on. So we actually recommend that you, you go through this, this process and choose. And so on tries, it basically keeps um, that remove option available. Yes. Did you try? Yeah. Okay. So that that will that will never go away until you make that decision to whether go to keep keep or yeah or okay. remove both of them remove the option. Of course, the one just removes the option and the one removes everything. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. And it's all explained there in the the text above. That's right. And when you choose an option, it will again it will give you a, a default um, 
option of return to the menu. So if somebody's actually hitting buttons or something, there's a greater chance that they're uh, going to hit enter and mm -hmm. go back to the main menu. Okay. So another thing we have here is uh, advanced options, and we're going to cover some of those. One of the advanced options is that you can change the default language that you're running. So, you know, maybe you did it headless and it went through and it auto selected English and then you come here and you're like, I, I want to change it. I want to change it to a different language. It'll take you back to the uh, language selection menu. And from here, you can scroll through the list and find the, the language that you want to use and you can choose it. I'm going to choose Tagalog since I understand it. And um, here's some of the options that you have for uh, it's the same menu, try, keep, remove, uh, but in, in a different language and the advanced options. So uh, you can change the, the language as much as you want. It'll remember which language you chose between selections too. So the only time you should see the, the language selection menu, unless you hit the advanced options and go back to it, is the very first time. So that's kind of set in stone. Now let's look at some of the other advanced options. We're going to talk about the reinstall option in a different uh, video. There's more, there's more complexity to that. So we're going to talk about that a little uh, later, but this is a really powerful option on this uh, menu. And that is the advanced, that's the rescue of ClearOS system. And what this does for those that are familiar with Red Hat or CentOS, there's a rescue mode that you have on the installation CD and ClearOS does the same thing. Uh, the rescue mode lets you boot up into a, a version of the operating system that's running that you can then do some repairs and things like that. So it's running off of image and that same uh, system exists right here, but it's on disk already. So you don't have to go and find, you know, a USB or you don't have to pre-make your CDs or, or things like you do with a, a new laptop so that you've got the ability to kind of rescue it. Here you can run the rescue mode right from the system and it will boot the system up into a command prompt and now you're in advanced territory where you can start repairing some things. So that's the different options here and uh, as I said the the default behavior is it's just going to boot up clear OS and uh, we'll let it do that right now. Do you have any questions? On the uh, try, keep, remove um, part of it, um, I was going to ask a, a quick question about sure. the um, uh, the try part. So if, if you choose one of these that's not keep or remove, if you, if you keep try, whenever you reboot, does it always come back into this preload type of menu? Yes, it will keep doing the try Okay. over and over again until you choose one of those things. In, in actuality, the try is just don't change anything in this boot menu. Keep it the way it is. I'm still trying to make up my mind. But the default behavior is that it will boot. We don't want a situation where somebody is trying out ClearOS and they go to reboot it and then it doesn't come up because it's stopped at that menu. So that's why it's the default option is because if you're doing headless or if you if you're still in the middle of trying it, you don't have to walk, have to walk up to the server to always hit try. Gotcha. So then with the difference then really with keep and remove is that keep will remove this menu so it can go faster, yes. install faster, and then the remove will just get you back to factory settings. That's right. It'll okay. blow everything away and you're back to factory.